Hi, I'm Sam with JBugs.com. In our last video, we pulled all the front suspension components from a pan of our 1971 Super Beetle and bolted on a rolling dolly that we welded up. Now, we're going to get the rolling chassis pulled apart, removing most of the components that bolt to the pan, and by the end, we'll have a bare but still rolling chassis. As we continually mention, make sure to save all your hardware until the restoration is complete. We start by removing the shifter, and honestly, we should have done this before pulling the body, but we got ahead of ourselves. Then we move to the master cylinder and unthread the brake lines there. Note that we use a section of the old feed hose to cap off the ports to keep the master cylinder clean. The front brake line chassis T is removed. And the tabs for the front right side brake line are pried up so the brake lines can be removed. Next, the two bolts for the pedal assembly are unthreaded from the chassis. The accelerator cable is disconnected from the lever. The brake pushrod clip is removed. The pushrod is removed from the pedal and pulled out of the master cylinder. We pull the pedal assembly out of the chassis and we see that a previous owner had safety wired the clutch cable to the pedal hook. So the wire is cut and the pedal assembly is pulled and set aside. The two bolts for the master cylinder are unthreaded and removed. And we make sure to pull out the spacer sleeves out of the chassis so they don't get lost. Moving back on the chassis a bit, we disconnect the parking brake cables from the lever before we remove the heater control levers. Note that the left lever controls the cables at the rear foot wells, and the right lever controls the cables at the rear of the car for the heater boxes. The nuts for both levers are removed, along with the brackets and spacers. Then the levers are pulled off and disconnected from the cable ends. The cables on either side are V'd off, with one end going to either side. The tube on the top of either side goes to the left. The bottom tubes go to the right. Both the heater cable and the footwell cables are pulled from the chassis. Then we pop off the parking brake pivot pin circlip and push the pin out so we can remove the parking brake lever. At the back of the chassis, the accelerator cable tube is pulled off, then the cable is pulled out of the front of the tunnel. Back at the transmission, the clutch cable tube bracket is removed. The tube is pulled off, and the clutch cable is pulled out of the front of the tunnel as well. Next, we're going to remove the axle assemblies. If you plan on reusing the axles, make sure to mark the orientation so you know that they are installed the same way, and they'll turn the same direction as originally when they're reinstalled. We mark the outer edges of the axles with electrical tape, and we also wrap an extra turn around the left axle so we know which side is which. The rear of the car is jacked up, and all the CV joint bolts are unthreaded, and the axles are removed from the chassis. The two nuts at the front nose cone mount are removed, and the remnants of the reverse light harness are pulled off the switch. The shift coupler access plate is removed, and the grub screw for the shift coupler is unthreaded, so the shift rod can be disconnected. At the rear of the transmission, we use a cheater bar to loosen the frame head bolts for the transmission crossbar and unthread the bolts. The transmission is removed from the chassis. Then the shift coupler is disconnected from the shift rod. So the shift rod can be pushed through the shift rod guide and out the front of the chassis. The cable and fuel line grommets are removed from the chassis. Then we start removing all the brake lines at the rear of the car. The left flex hose is unthreaded from the trailing arm line and the chassis T. The trailing arm line is disconnected from the caliper flex hose. And the flex hose is unthreaded from the caliper. Note that we use the bleeder cap to plug the port on the caliper to keep it clean. The cert clip for the parking brake cable is removed and the cables pulled from the caliper and out of the chassis. The remaining brake line is removed from the trailing arm. Then the bolts for the chassis T and unions are removed. The center brake line chassis tab is pried up. 
and the brake lines, hoses, and parking brake cable on the right side are all removed as well. We unbolt and remove the rear shocks. Then we pull off the wheels and the brake calipers and set them aside. The old rear wheels and tires are bolted back in place and the chassis is lowered to the ground. And we finish up by plying up all the chassis tabs for the front rear brake line and pull it from the pan. From here, we're going to load the body and pan up and move them to a friend's shop where we'll continue our restoration and tackle some rust repair. Those videos will be following soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click the like button below. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And when you need parts for your vintage VW, head over to jbugs.com.